hole in uh, in quality, perfect start to the weekend. But you had your lap time deleted earlier. It's a bit of a, a frantic session. Yeah, obviously around Brands Hatch, especially the GP circuit, it's, it's quite a long lap compared to all the others. So we don't really get that many uh, opportunities to. Uh, to, to have a go at it you know you only get 10 laps or so so you know it's, it's one of those where the, you know the first run you're high on fuel you just got to get yourself into a rhythm which to be fair I really struggled with um, and then it was just those last few laps in quality I was like look I'm down in P6 I've got to do something special here so I, I just said to myself look let's just go all or nothing I either put it on pole or I put it in a barrier so um, yeah I just I just absolutely sent it and just hoped it stuck and there was time in the lap just from pretty much just pushing so hard but um, yeah I just it was just about enough for double pole, so um, yeah, really, really happy, and hopefully we can we can convert those to wins later on. And what was your lap like? Where did you make the lap time out there? Um, to be honest, I actually don't know. It was a, it was just a very decent lap all round. There was a couple of places where you know maybe I could have picked up throttle earlier, but I kept making mistakes in, in the back section on the GP loop, and that was why I was struggling. So um, I kind of said to myself, like, I, I'm just going to rein it back that tiny bit and try and find the time in other areas, and that's exactly what I did. And, I knew in the pit stop, I said to Mike Epps, my, my coach, I said, he was coming over to me saying, look, you've got time here, time here. I said, shut up, just leave me to it. And because I knew where it was and, and that was that was all I needed. I just need to focus and um, yeah, we managed to pull it out of the bag later on. And Alex Dunn isn't here this weekend. Do you see that as, as an extra chance to capitalise? Um, to be honest, you don't know where Alex would have been obviously um, the last few rounds he's been you know he's been at the front obviously he has been all season but he's not been as dominant as what he was at the start of the season so you know there's you know it could have been that Alex would have been on pole today you don't know but he could have also been down in P8 you know that's very unlikely but um, you know it's he's not been the only pole sitter this year so it, it shows that other people can do it and um, yeah, obviously we're still beating the likes of Ollie Gray, who's obviously Williams Junior Academy. So, you know, I think it, I think it's quite a good achievement for me, and obviously it's my, my only ever pole in F4 that I'll get. So, um, yeah, I got to savour it as much as I can. And what are you looking at for next year to, to make the step up to GB3, or what, what are you looking at? Uh, it's hard to say, honestly. Um, obviously, that's that would be ideal. Obviously, following Matt Reese's footsteps almost, and um, yeah, we we want to do GB3, but it all depends on the budget really. And um, but yeah, the, if we do end up on G, in GB3, we'll end up with JHR for sure. So um, yeah, yeah, just just really good bond with the team, and I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to let that uh, let that go. Okay, thanks so much.